Yes. Hey guys, welcome to Sunday Problem Solving Challenge. A weekly one topic for our competitive exam preparation. Every week Sunday we have been consistently discussing some competitive exam challenges. So today I came up with two shortcuts that may definitely helpful for you to solve your problems in lesser time. So here you could see some mathematical shortcuts. So 308 square, 705 square, 809 square and you have three more questions. So here I'm going to solve four questions. And you have to solve the next two questions without pen and paper and you have to type the answer in comment without fail. Now 308 square. Now see for all this question you could see something common. The middle digit is 0. Now for all this question you will get 6 digit answers. So I will draw 6 dash for, uh, six dash for your understanding. Right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 dash. Now answer for the first question is first you want to square 8. What is 8 square? You get 64. So write that 64 here. And next, multiply this 3 and 8. What is 3 times 8? You get 24. Next, you want to double it. So if you double 24, you get 48. So write that 48 here. Next, you want to double this 3. If you double, you get 9. But you have 2 dash here. So you want to write it as 0, 9. So your final answer is 94864. Hope you are clear. Now second question. For 705 square also you get a 6 digit answer. So we have 6 dash. What is 5 square? You get a 25. Next you want to multiply 7 and 5. What is 7 times 5? You get 30. I'm sorry 35. Right. Now double this 35 you get 70. So write that 70 here. Next square of 7. You get 49. So write 49 here. It's easy, right? So final answer is 497025. Next, you have 809 square. So put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 dash. What is 9 square? You get an 81. Now, 8 times 9, you get 72. Okay. You get 72. Now double this 72, you get 144. But you have 3 digits. You want to write only two digits. So write 44, then you have one, right? So keep this one in your brain, okay? Now what is 8 square? You get 64. With that 64, you want to add this one. You get 65. So your answer is 654481. Now coming to 203 square. It is very simple. So I draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 dash. And what is 3 square? You get 9. So if you get single digit, write it as 09. Right? Now what is 2 times 3? 6. Double this 6, you get 12. So write that 12 here. Next, what is 2 square? 4. It's a one digit number. So make it as 0, 4. So your answer is 4, 1, 2, 0, 9. Now you have two questions. And answer for the two questions need to be put it in comment session. So this question is work out for you. Now moving to second circuit. So the second circuit is based on visual reasoning. So we can call this topic as figure counting or embedded figure counting. Now, if you look at the box inside, you have four triangles. So naturally, you could see four triangles, right? But answer is not four. So you want to find the total number of embedded triangles. So here you have one, two, three, four triangles. Apart from that, you have four more triangles. So look at this one. This shaded region is one triangle. At bottom, you have another triangle. This full part is in another triangle, right? So apart from this, you have another triangle here. And bottom also you have another triangle. So totally it is 4 plus 4. Right? So naturally you can see 4 triangles. With that you have embedded 4 triangles. So it is 4 plus 4. You have 8 triangles. Right? So this is the shortcut for this question. And if you have another box like this. You will say, yes, sir. So first one is 8 and second one is another 8. So 8 plus 8, it is totally 16 triangles. But answer is not 16. You know why? Now, if you look at both the boxes, you have one point joining both the boxes. That means you have one triangle here. Look at this. This is one triangle, right? And you have another junction here. This is another triangle, right? For each junctions, you will get one one triangle. So it is 16 plus 2, you get 18 triangles. So answer for this question is 18. Now see, 
you have three boxes and you could see how many junctions so at top you have two junctions and bottom you have another two junctions and definitely i'm not going to tell the answer because this question is challenge for you you want to solve the problem and put the answer in comment without fail i believe you understood something from this video and if you feel this is helpful don't forget to give a like and share it to your friends thank you so much for watching have a great day